Hey, 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 what's going on guys and gals? In this particular video, we're going to be looking at the proper input gains using the X32 to feed our doll. Now, in my particular case, it'll be using Reaper. But we want to go over a few things here. And the first thing we're going to go over is the mixer view. Just a few little pointers here. Uh, right here at the top, you can see it's a plus 42.5. That's my input gain. When I click on the symbol, here is my phantom power. Okay. I'm using the AKG P120 for my microphone. And down here, if you'll notice, when I stop speaking, you'll see a red line come right down here on the right-hand side. And that is my gate. Okay. Here is my EQ, and here is my compressor. Right below that is my panning control. Okay, I can pan left or pan right. And you can click on any of these, and it will automatically take you, if you look up top now, okay, right to that point. Now, on the gate, I've got mine set at a negative 40. I've got the attack extremely fast, as fast as it'll uh, open up the gate. And then my release, I've got it set around 52 milliseconds. The hold is at 502 milliseconds. And if you look right up here at this diagram, it's showing you what that envelope looks like. If you can see as I move this up, that this moves open as well. Okay. Now, guys, when you start gating things, especially a vocal mic, it's going to depend on what song you're singing and how your singer sings. Okay. Uh, for preaching, it's the same thing. If you're going to do the recording or doing this live, and that preacher or that singer starts singing extremely soft, and you've got this threshold set up way too high, then what you're going to get is that effect you see right there. Nothing's coming through this microphone. And as they talk a little bit lower, it's going to start sounding like this. And that's, that's where you get that uh, improper gate control. Okay? Now, over on the dynamics, I've got my compressor set at a negative 15 dBs because over here on this input meter, we want to set our gain, okay, to where we're getting between that negative 18 and negative 15 input signal. Okay? Now, this is the number one crucial mistake, all right? They come up, check, 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 and they're doing their mic check, okay? Watch this meter right here, because this is what happens. Now, they come up to the mic, they move a little bit closer, and then they start to sing. Watch this thing just peek out everywhere, okay? You ain't nothing but a hound dog. As you can see, and let's go over here and look at our meters, and I apologize for the singing. Okay, uh, we're coming out of channel 15 and 16. Uh, just in the routing, I don't have my S16 turned on, but it's the same thing you're going to see on these meters. Watch everything start turning red, okay? You ain't nothing but a hound dog. So, number one, you've got to get these input levels set correctly, okay? Now, if I take this compressor off and we look at the meters to where it's not compressing anything, then you're going to see them go further into the red as far as uh, the, th there'll be no gain reduction, okay? You ain't nothing but a hound dog. So from your P16s to your input levels or your input meters, your, your, AES, DBU, which we don't use with the rack, your monitor levels, uh, everything is just going to start going through the roof, okay? Now, bear in mind, this is just one channel, okay? Imagine if you've got 25 to 32 to 8, 10, to, it, it doesn't matter. But when you multiply this, you're going to see this is why people cannot get their output levels set correctly because they don't have their input level set correctly, okay? Now, on the gate, it doesn't really matter. 
okay? The, the input level is not going to affect this gate. It's going to come on when it hits that negative 40 dBs, and it's going to immediately uh, go off when I quit speaking because of the, my settings uh, here, okay? So the dynamics, as far as the compressor, this is definitely going to affect the compressor. Okay, like I said, I've got it set to the negative 15 dBs. I've got it at a 3 to 1 ratio. I've got it 100% going into the mix. Okay. And until I get to that live situation or that recording situation, will determine how much that I want to uh, add for makeup gain. Okay. If, if my average is around a negative 3 dBs for gain reduction, then that's what I would want to add back into it. Okay, but right now, as you can see, it, it's, it's maybe hitting two. Okay, so that's where I would leave it right now. So uh, let's see, we have everything there. Uh, the auto time, we're not going to use that. Uh, my knee, okay, this is the softness of the curve. As you can see right there, where it turns uh, the angle right there, uh, that's at zero. That's at 1, and this is at a 5. When it comes to vocals, use that 5. That's what it's there for. That's my experience. That's my recommendation. Okay? So now that we come back up here, let's go back to the channel. Right now, our input gain is a plus 39 dB. And that's with me just sitting here speaking. So if I come up here and go... You ain't nothing but a, you see where it's clipping again. I'm going to start reducing this. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. And I apologize for the singing, guys. It's the only way I can do it. I've never claimed to be a singer. That's why I don't have a band. Okay. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. So right there, that's going to put us somewhat close. Okay. So in a plus 23. Point five. We've already taken uh, over 10 dBs of gain off. Okay, so now let's go back to the compressor and watch what it does. Remember now, we haven't changed anything. Okay, you ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. And now as you can see, it's working just exactly like it should. It's not compressing anything. Okay, as you can see right over here, the GR stands for gain reduction. It's not reducing any gain at the normal operating volume, which is exactly the way it should be working. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at Reaper, and let's see what my input gain is going to be there. All right, so here we are over here in Reaper. And here is my meter right here, okay? It's around a negative 30 right now. I do have it set to record. Remember the, the signal tap, guys, is my input number one into the X32 rack. It goes through the preamp. It immediately goes to the card out, okay? And that's what's coming into Reaper. All right, guys, let's go ahead and watch this meter over here on the left-hand side now. We're going to zoom into it after I do the video. And we want to make sure that that thing's up there around that negative 18 to a negative 15. Okay? And let's watch what it does. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Okay? So that's it. Back over in the X32 edit. This is the setup. You would do this for each individual channel that you want to go into your DAW that you want to record with. All right? I hope this has helped clear some things up. Take care. God bless. And we are out of here.